Let's briefly talk about including and excluding files and pages on your static website. Go to Simply Static, Settings, General, and start with Include. Additional URLs are URLs that aren't linked from your front end and also not being part of a potential XML sitemap. To include these, all you have to do is add the full URL right here and we make sure to include the URL on your static website. When including files and directories like images, videos or any kind of other files you want to be want to have included on your static website, you need to reference the relative path instead of the URL. To do that, you can use the little button right here to copy the home path. This will always point to the root directory of your WordPress installation. Let's say you want to include the entire uploads folder. Then you add WP content slash uploads. By ending the path with a slash, you let Simply Static know that we should include the entire directory and not just a specific file. If you want to include a specific file, you need to add a file extension. Let's say we have a file in 2024, one some image.jpg. This way we will only include this particular file and not all files located in uploads 2024-1. This is an easy way to add additional files, directories and also pages to your static website to get the best possible results. We also have the ability to exclude files and pages from your static website. All you have to do is adding patterns to exclude files. An example, if you want to skip over all the upload images, you can add uploads and as soon as we find a file that contains the uploads path inside the URL, we will automatically skip over that file and continue with the other pages.